Hello everyone, this is Nabil Murad from Toronto, Canada. In this training video, I'll be talking about a new feature known as Inquire, introduced for the first time in Excel 2013, and it's still available in Excel 2016 as well. With the Inquire, you can analyze, audit, and review your workbooks to understand better the design and function of your workbooks along with data dependency and potential errors and security concerns. Prior to the Inquire tool, we used to analyze our worksheet dependency by using some functionality on the formula step. So let's say in this worksheet, I do have this value in cell B3, which is used as an input value in other formulas. In order to find these cells referring to cell B3, I used to go to the formula step and click on trace dependence and Excel creates arrows to the cells driving their value from cell B3. If I keep clicking on trace dependence, I see the next and the next level of dependency and so on. To remove the arrows, I can click on remove arrow. I could highlight all the dependent cells in one go by using the shortcut Control shift and right square bracket. This highlights all the dependent cells in one go. I do have the opposite tool as well. So let's say in cell L27, I do have a simple formula. If I put the cell in the edit mode, I have a max function in this cell. And if I would like to see the precedence cell, the cell that providing input values to this calculation, I can use the trace precedence. So if I click on trace precedence, I can see the cells used as an input value for this calculation. If I keep clicking on trace precedence, Excel creates errors to the input cells and so on until we reach the top level of precedence. To remove the errors, I click on remove errors. Alternatively, I could highlight all these cells in one go by using the shortcut Control Shift and left square bracket to highlight all of them. With the Inquire tool, we have a much better functionality to find the cell relationship in a workbook. But first of all, I need to add the Inquire tool to my ribbon. To do that, I need to go to the Excel Options dialog box. Among the ways, I can right-click on a blank area of the ribbon and select Customize the ribbon. The Excel Options dialog box opens, and in this dialog box, I'm going to click on Add-ins. And when I click on Add-ins, I need to select the Com Add-in for Common Object Modeling Add-in so when I click on the drop list of Manage and select Com Add-in, then click on Go. A dialog box opens. In this dialog box, I see the list of add-ins, among them the Power Map, the Power Pivot, the Power View. I would like to add the Inquire tab, so I'm going to check this box. And when I hit OK, keep an eye on the ribbon and you will see that the Inquire tab has been added to the ribbon. When I click on the Inquire tab, I will see the different functionality available on the Inquire tab. You will notice seven primary areas of functionality. They are workbook analysis, workbook relationships, worksheet relationships, cell relationships, compare files, clean Excel cell formatting, and workbook passwords. These are the seven functionalities of the Inquire tab. As we will demonstrate momentarily, Workbook Analysis allows you to analyze selected aspects of the current open workbook. Workbook Relationship provides a graphical representation of all workbooks to which the current workbook links. Likewise, the Workship Relationships feature provides a graphical representation of all worksheets to which the current worksheet links. Additionally, the Cell Relationship features allows you to visualize all cells that link to the current cell. The Inquire Compare Files feature compares two Excel workbooks and shows you the cells that differ in the two compared files. The Clean Excess Cell Formatting feature provides you with the tool to clean quickly excess formatting, such as formatting that might be applied to blank cells. As you may know, this is a common cause of increased Excel file size and contributes to poor performance. Lastly, you can use the workbook passwords. Finally, you can use the Inquire workbook passwords feature 
To save passwords associated with workbooks, you might want to analyze or compare using the Inquire tool. Let's now demonstrate some of the Inquire 7 features, and I'll start with workbook analysis and cell relationship. So I'll begin by clicking the workbook analysis icon on the Inquire tab. And when I click on that, it opens the workbook analysis report options dialog box currently shown on the screen. In this dialog box, you can select a particular aspect of the workbook you wish to learn more about. So I'm going to check summary, and I'm going to check some of the formulas feature so I can uncheck all of them and I'll be selecting some of the formulas, features associated with this workbook. On completing our selection, click the Excel export button in the lower left-hand corner of the dialog box. This creates an Excel file. I'm going to name that file and then save. You can then load the exported file. With the export file now visible on screen, we see details provided by the Inquire tool. For example, the summary section shows how many formulas we have. This is the file size, for instance. And then this is very hidden sheet. And then I have 10 visible sheets. And then I have that number of formulas, over 4,000 formulas. There are some formulas with logical values, formulas with numeric values, and then I have some formulas with textual values and so on. So I can look at the different formulas available. If I click on data connections, I don't have an external data connection. If I click on visible sheets, I can see a list of the different sheets visible. And then if I click on hidden sheets, I do have one single hidden sheet. If I click on very hidden sheets, very hidden sheets, I do have many very hidden sheets. And then if I click on all formulas, I get a listing of all formulas, their cell address, the formula itself, and the value returned by this formula. I can see a long list of the formulas in details. And then if I have error formulas, I will see them listed here, logical formulas and numeric formulas as well. An important characteristic of each of these worksheets it the reviewer comments column, which provides an opportunity for a reviewer to manage or enter comments regarding the characteristics examined by the inquiry. Turning to the original workbook, we can now examine the cell relationships feature on the inquiry tab. I'll be selecting cell D13, and I would like to examine the cell relationships. So I'll click on the inquiry tab on cell relationships. And this opens the cell relationships dialog box after selecting some options. I can see all the details, the precedence and dependence of this selected cell. The visualization detected shows cells to which the selected cell drives values and the cells that feed the selected cell as well all other kind of dependencies. Using the cell relationships diagram, you can quickly visualize dependencies inside your workbook. In the lower right corner, you have extra functionality for viewing or printing those relationships. Clicking on Show Overview will open a window from which you can select a subset of the relationship to visualize it in detail. And this window can be changed so I can select a different subset of cells to visualize the relationship. I'll be closing the cell relationships window. And then I would like to go to another functionality, the compare file. The compare file tool enables you to compare two versions of an Excel file to find the differences and the modifications between the two files. This is the original version of the file. And I have another version of that file open and it has some differences in formatting and some functions being created, I would like to compare these two versions of that file. So I'll go to the Inquire tab and click on Compare Files. You have to select the two files that you would like to compare. So I named them Compare File 1 and Compare File 2. I can swap the files. And when I click on Compare, Excel will create a report 
comparing every individual aspect between these two files. So I can see on the left hand side the finished version of the file. On the right hand side I can see the original version of the file and different points of comparison and formulas being detected. Also I have a graphic representation of these differences. If I click on show workbook formatting it will show the original formatting so I can recognize the two files. We do have some extra functionality to export the result or copy the result to the clipboard. Inquire contains numerous tools designed to assist you in ensuring the integrity and accuracy of your mission in critical Excel workbooks. As you make the transition to Excel 2013, you will want to pay particular attention to this outstanding new feature, the Inquire tool. Thank you for watching and see you in our next tutorial.